For more than a century, this is how dentists have been reading x-rays. I'm Jazz Kang here at a dental office in Encino, speaking with one doctor who's using AI to help him point out some problem spots and help him provide better care. He's seeing major changes in the dental industry for the first time in his career. What I learned in dental school um, basically could not have prepared me for the changes. Dr. August de Oliveira has been a dentist for 27 years and he's embracing the growth of technology in the dental field because he knows he's not perfect. There's been a few cavities that I've missed as a human. Looking at this x-ray, I can definitely see that there's something going on here. But as a dentist, I probably would have missed something here and I probably would have missed something here. Dr. De Oliveira started using Pearl AI, a software that enhances x-rays for dentists a couple of months ago. The AI shows the layers of the teeth. The enamel's white, the soft part of the tooth or dentin is green, the purple lines are the nerves, and the pink dots are problem spots. Pearl can actually quantify how far the decay has passed. We can see that this is in fact 100% into the enamel, but has not reached the dentin. So if we can catch these cavities before they reach the dentin, remineralize them, we'd basically save that tooth. A study done by the FDA found that every dental clinician participating said that AI helped them detect diseases they may have missed. Dr. De Oliveira says the software keeps them sharp. So for me as a dentist, it's almost like spell check. So it's a second set of eyes looking at what I would normally look at. Sanjay Mali is a professor and chair of the section of oral and maxillofacial radiology at UCLA. He says the data shows there's a need for improvement for humans reading medical imaging. We do know from a lot of studies that there is inconsistency in the way individuals look at radiographs, look at x-rays, and make assessments. A study done by the National Institute of Health finds that some dentists don't want to use AI because of a lack of education and a fear of being replaced. But Sanjay says humans will still be needed in the field even if AI becomes mainstream. These tools will help make our workflow easier, will help uh, facilitate our uh, consistency, but at the end of the day, it does require a human observer. For Dr. De Oliveira, using AI as a dentist more in the future is an exciting prospect. There's lots of new things coming out, different types of 3D x-rays and robotics that AI will definitely be a part of um, that allow us to be better dentists. Even after almost three decades in the field, Dr. De Oliveira is eager to embrace change and technology.